on lockdown, all he can do is eat. <laughs> eat, Netflix, <laughs> the fridge, and back. That's it, that's it, that's it. So how are you doing, bro? I'm doing fine, you know. Um, I'm okay. I mean, the Christmas was pretty quiet and yeah. peaceful. Peace. Uh, one in there, you want peace, don't you? Definitely, yeah. definitely. That's what you want, yeah, yeah. So I uh, want to make a quick start, yeah, because I know you're yeah. a busy man. I don't wanna, I don't wanna be holding up. <laughs> no, you are a busier man. You are much busier. Than <laughs> I don't wanna be holding up the uh, executive manager of some big company, you know, <laughs> holding him up. Yeah, man. <laughs> I receive that, brother. Yeah, amen, amen. Amen to that. Speak man. it, believe it, and receive it. Amen to that, bro. Amen to that. Right. So we're gonna just make a quick start. Um, so it's just gonna be about 10, 10 15 minutes. Uh, yeah. So yeah, we'll be right, wrapping it up. So welcome to uh, Probe the Act on uh, Deep Stuff uh, TV with a returning artist. This guy's a legend, man. Legend, honestly. Colossus. Colossus is a legend. Best reggae artist after Bob Marley. I say so myself, honestly. I've had to listen, I've had, I've had the privilege of working with this guy. Brilliant, his timing is, 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 is important in business. And this guy, you never go wrong with him. How are you doing, boss? I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you doing? I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Can't complain, I cannot complain. I cannot complain at all, so I, I thank God, yeah. So I, I know I've, I've, had you, I've had you on the radio before, uh, but this is a TV. So, uh, just tell so just tell our listeners how did you get started in music well i got started in music at the age of 16 my older brother who is now he's died um but a long time ago in 2001 he had a studio and um different artists used to come around to do like um dub plates and special jingles. They used to do jingles yeah. for um, DJs all over the country and all over the world. So his studio was built specifically for that. It wasn't a professional recording studio, but um, after school, I would go there because there would be different artists that would come by. And, you know, as a youngster, you'd be excited because you know, these guys are like icons in the business. Uh, I don't know if you're aware of somebody called Cotty Ranks. But my brother introduced me to Cotty Ranks. Wow. Um, way back in the days. Yeah. And there are quite a few other famous Jamaican DJs. Yeah. One called Baby Wayne as well. My brother introduced me to Baby Wayne. Yeah. So basically, I started, I was inspired by my brother who was not only an engineer, but he was a singer himself. Wow. So I went in the studio one day, I picked yeah. up the microphone and started messing about, you know, <laughs> singing other people's songs, because yeah. at the time I hadn't written anything as yet. So, you know, Baby Wayne looked at me and said, but you've got, you've got crazy talent, man, you can do this. And then I think he gave me a name I can't remember what the name was, but I didn't really like that name. So yeah. I eventually changed it to Colossus. Colossus, man. <laughs> I love, From I love that. time there until now, it's yeah. Colossus. Colossus. Colossus means basically something huge, you know, something gigantic, something large. And that is the effect I wish to have on, on the listener. Yeah. And... The, the, the business itself and you know I want to spread positive messages and positive energy yeah. everywhere I go you know I want to make a difference so that's the reason why I call myself Colossus big up man big up big up big up so um have you ever been in a band I know you've just uh, you've said about your brother being there uh, you know but have you yourself have you been involved with a band uh, prior to that um, after that no no i've always been a solo artist yeah. yeah you know i write my own stuff and 
I've recorded music, a lot of music over the years on pre-recorded tracks. Yeah. Tracks that have already been released. Released or ready to be used. Yeah. So I've used quite a, a lot of uh, original backing tracks and I've used backing tracks that are out there to record demos, etc. Yeah. So, um, yeah. 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 So did you play any musical instruments? Well, at one point, I was teaching myself to play the bass guitar. Yeah. And, uh, you know, life takes its toll and it does, yeah. children get involved and, you know, different circumstances. So eventually it stopped. Yeah. But that is something that I would like to continue. Yeah. So yeah. 2021, just around the corner. I'll definitely add that to the New Year's resolution list. Well, why not? <laughs> why not? We kid, man. Yeah. Um, so tell us about your first gig. Because I know you've played on um, uh, Britain's Got Reggae uh, and all that. Uh, but can you remember your very first gig? Um, my very first gig, it was just a concert, to be honest. Uh, um, it was back in probably... I can't remember the year, if it's yeah. 2003 or 2004. Yeah. But there used to be like a lot of concerts in the area where I was living in Jamaica. Yeah. So like every Friday night or Saturday night, they would have like different artists come. They'd have like a sound system playing. Yeah. <laughs> like a dance, like yeah. a street dance. Yeah. And yeah. people yeah, enjoying themselves and you know, as you call it, bashment. That's, that's, so, that's the life, bro. That's the life, bro. Yeah, different artists, like, would yeah. come by and just do their thing. So as a community singer or DJ, yeah. you know, I took the opportunity to, you know, to, to, to go on stage. Yeah. And to my surprise, the reception was way better than what I expected. Wow. So that encouraged, to be honest, um, the stage isn't something that I like because, you know, it's, I'm a more laid back person who likes to be in the background, to yeah. be honest with you. Yeah. But if you have to go out there and perform, you, you, yeah. you just have to do it. You have to do it, innit? yeah. You just have to do it. And I haven't really had much experience yeah. as in performing live. Yeah. Uh, last year... There was a, the Britain Got Reggae competition, yeah. which was held in London. I entered the competition yeah. and I made it to the semifinals. So that for me was the first experience of working with a live backing band. Yeah. So before that, what I used was like backing tracks. Yeah. But with the Britain Got Reggae, yeah. you know, we did like half an hour rehearsal with the band. Yeah. And then following day, they just throw us, throw us in the deep end to go out there and perform. <laughs> yeah. For me, it was a learning experience, you know. Yeah. I, look, I look back on it and I, I see a lot of things that I can work on, and, you know, a lot of things that I could do better. Yeah. So in this business, you're always learning. You're always learning, yeah. That's you're correct. never the finished article. Mate. No, no, no. Because every keeps if things keep changing, don't it? Yeah, things keep evolving, you know. Keep changing, yeah. So, yeah, you, you got to keep learning. Um, so I've I've heard, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I've heard one of your tracks where you did the mix with a, a rap artist, and I can't remember what it's called now, but I'm sure I've heard it. And so, uh, for for our viewers. Would you say, uh, what genre would you classify yourself? I I'd say reggae, but having heard that rap with pop in it, now I, I just want you to, to clarify the air here. Okay, well, I'm from Jamaica, and in Jamaica, uh, we grew up on reggae and dancehall music. Yeah. So that's what I'm accustomed to doing over the years, so... Being around that, I would say that I fall in the category of reggae, dancehall, because that's most natural for me. Yeah. Because we've got the lingua, which is patois. 
Yeah, you know, yeah, man, wagwan, yeah. you know. <laughs> I know. Yeah, no. So we put we put that dialect and we put that culture in our music. Yeah. So um, the, but the thing about it though, it's it's limited and restricted because right, we don't speak. It's broken English, so not a lot of people on the globe global scene will understand what we're saying. Yeah. Unless it's Sean Paul or Shaggy. Yeah. <laughs> Those are famous, famous Jamaican superstars who are in the reggae music and um, dancehall industry. Yeah. But I have decided that I won't limit myself to just reggae and dancehall because music is music is life. It is, yeah. There are so many different genres. There are so many different cultures. I mean, you've got the Afrobeats, you know, you've got pop, you've got yep. rock, yep. you've got electronic dance music. Yeah. There's so many different genres. And I just wanna I wanna do some collaborations with different yeah. artists, yeah, um, different cultures, so that I can kind of like cross over into different markets. Yeah. That's that, that's true. That's a wise move, yeah. That's that's where the business is going right now, you know. Is, so yeah. you can't just stick to what you know. You have to experiment and you have to you have to go with the, the flow. Correct. Because change is a good thing. Correct. Even in the music business. So it yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, just just for our listeners, what are most of your songs about? Well, most of my songs speak about real life issues uh, from, you know, poverty yep. that you face growing up as a kid, um, social commentary, um, politics. Uh, some of the music is based on faith as well. Yeah. But I try, I try not to do to focus solely on that. Yeah. But I do different music for yeah. different moods and yeah. for different people. So I'd classify myself as an all-rounder. Yeah, why not? <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, diversity. You have to be versatile. That, that's the word, yeah, versatile, yeah. yeah. You have yeah. to be versatile about it, I bet you sing. So just, just quickly, before we go into other things, um, just quickly tell us, how we can find you on all the social media outlets? Well, it's Colossus, which is spelled K-O-L-U-S-S-U-S. On Twitter, my handle is Colossus20. And on Instagram, it's Colossus2.0 or 2.0. I'm not on Facebook as yet, but I did have a Facebook page, but due to circumstances beyond my control, I've had to like, uh, uh, what what you call it, disconnect or, yeah, yeah, yeah deactivated it. That, that's the word, yeah. So I'm, I'm hoping to reactivate that account next year so, you know, I can reach more people because yeah. some people are only on Instagram, some only use Twitter, some use Facebook, and some use all of them. That's I'm on LinkedIn as well. Yeah. At Colossus. And um, what else? I think that's it. I'm on Spotify. I'm on Amazon. Music is on all digital streaming platforms. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. I love that. Um, so tell us about this song, uh, Love is the Answer. Big fan. I love that song. Tell us how that came about. Well, Love is the Answer is, is, is me. Love is something that I practice on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, it's easy to, to tell somebody that you love them, but anybody can say, I love you. Love is a, an action word, you know? So I spend a lot of my time actually promoting other people's music, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. And I don't do it for charge. I do it with the uh, independent artist like myself. Yeah. Because as an independent artist, I know what it is like not getting heard. Yeah. And I know how hard it is where promotion is concerned. Yeah. So I show my love and appreciation for other independent artists yeah. by promoting their music yeah. on my social media. So if you go on my Twitter or on my Instagram, you'll see where I do a lot of promo yeah. for a lot of people who I don't even know. Yeah. So I've got a passion for people, potential, and possibilities. That's, is that, so that love, love is the answer. <laughs> it's just me yeah. playing my part, helping people. I spread positive vibes everywhere I go. Yeah, you know the song says, "Love your brother, yeah. love your sister. Don't put vanity over humanity." You That's know cool. because people should be loved, not used. Yeah, especially especially in this day and age where you know we seem to be divided over different issues. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Political, yeah. racial. Uh, you know, so it, it's a good message. It's a good message. Yeah, and, I'm, and I'm built on strong Christian principles, you know. So I know that love is love is, is a very important thing. Love is the only solution yeah. that can get us through yeah. the everyday obstacles and problems that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. Yeah. Love is the key. Love is the answer. I I'd yeah. recommend that I'd recommend that song for anybody that's watching this and listening. Uh, check it out. Love is the answer. Brilliant song. So, um, you know how um, some artists would um, write to the beat and some would write from the beat. And I know you've mm -hmm. touched on it slightly, but what's that process for you? Um, you know, whenever I write a song, uh, I try to synchronize it with the beat you know i listen to what the beat is saying and if i feel that it is sad you know i may want to go with something that's along those lines or if it's a happy beat then i want to make something that's happy uh it, is there's no formula to it really it depends on the timing and depends on the mood that you're in yeah. And it depends on the moment, you know. Yeah. So you yeah. So you write both ways. So you write from the beat and you can write. Yeah, yeah. From I can the, and you can write too. Depending too. on the motivation as well. If you are in the studio and the vibe is right and you feel inspired and you feel motivated, a song can be built right there. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas some songs you have to just edit. You have to copy, you have to paste. I don't like this. This doesn't sound good. Let me take this out. Yeah. And you just, you have some other songs that just flow. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. You know, so it, it, it depends. Depends on the mood and the moment. Yeah. So I noticed when you were mentioning all your social media, uh, you never talked about your uh, YouTube channel. Now, do you have a YouTube channel? Do you have clips on YouTube? And how can oh, you find yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. If you type in Colossus on, on YouTube, which is K-O-L-U-S-S-U-S, -S -S um, practically most of the stuff that I've done over the years, you can find on YouTube. That's brilliant. So yeah. please subscribe to the channel. You know, please like the videos that you like and um, share it. Leave a comment on it because when you do that, it helps the artist's channel to, it helps the ratings on the artist's channel. Yeah. So that, so that the, the videos can be, can be recommended into other people's feeds. So yeah. that's the reason why we always say as artists, like, share, comment, and subscribe because it makes a difference. It, it makes a big difference to the ratings of, of the videos yeah so if you're watching this video either later on um please subscribe with to uh, colossus colossus on youtube and please watch love is the answer i recommend that 
I recommend that song and any other song uh, by this brilliant artist, singer, songwriter. Uh, so have you, do you have any albums out at the moment? And if so, what is it called? No, there is no album. You see, over the years, Drem, yes. I've had a lot of challenges yeah. um, with yeah. recording and production because I, I, I am in the process of setting up my home, my own home recording. Yeah. But before this, I've had to record at other people's places and things didn't work out the way yeah. we hoped. You know, there's a lot of like disagreements. Yeah. And so my work, I think, can, could, can be much better. Yeah. And I think I could have done more yeah. with what I've done over the years. But there's a time and place for everything. And I think 2021 will be a bigger and better year where yes. I will at least be able to put out an EP. Yes. If not an album, you know, an EP with probably five or six songs on it. Yeah. We will. Yeah. We'll that's, in, that's, that's in the, um, in the making. Yeah. That's in the pipeline. Yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. We love that. Uh, so this is the concluding part where you get to give shout out to anybody at all. Go for it. Uh, shout out to the whole Drem TGI family. Uh, shout out to all uh, Tolu. Shout out to DJ Salmon K. Shout out to, uh, is it Diana? Diana, Medlin. Yeah, Medi. You know, the whole Drem stuff family. Appreciate your help over the years. I've known you guys now since 2016. Yeah, and good. you've been a big help. Yeah. in the progress of my career. So I appreciate you for that. Um, I'd like to shout out the Let's Get the Word Out family on Twitter. We're like a group of independent artists who help each other out by sharing each other's works. And, you know, we, we, we're like a family. So I'd like to say, give a shout out to them as well. And um, my loyal fans, whoever you are, whoever subscribes, whoever likes, comments, and listens, whoever listens on Spotify, Amazon, or wherever, thank you so much. Every little helps. And every stream, every view, every play is appreciated. Colossus, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I've been a uh, dream TGI and we've had a, a brilliant singer, songwriter and a magnificent performer, a Colossus uh, on, on the show today. Uh, so I've been dream TGI and you've been watching Deep Stuff TV. Have a lovely uh, week now. Thank you. Uh, so let me just uh, stop.